All right, everybody, we are out here with Inbred Jed today, and we are, uh, well, I don't know what we're doing. Let's go find out what we're doing. What are we doing here? Ooh. This is all up kind of, like, these are 120 year old hollies. The what birch is kind of in the holly. Yeah. But that one leans back super hard. This one. How do you know these are 120 years old? Oh, just the hollies. The guy said that they bought the place in the 80s and the guy before him had planted them all. Wow. At, at roughly that time. Jeez. So. Man. They, uh, they look pretty nasty. Oh, this is a yeah, this dead is snag. So Jake, what do you think about this leaner? Can you pull that with the machine? I mean, we could pull it with a pocket, couldn't we? Like it's oh, like fall it. Is yeah. the the birches going too? The birch, all this, yeah. Like this dude, we can go. we can we can fall that. I think so. We can fall that. Put I think a line so. In. I mean, all the limb might. We this, can, so. yeah, pull it with the excavator. I don't know. And I've got uh my uh, bumper winch too. That's a sixteen thousand pound winch. Okay. If you want to do that, I think we can fall that. Yeah, it's just. That is kind of nasty rock though. Cedar, dude. You can like literally. Well. But wow. this wood's fine. And that this wood's nasty. probably fine too. Well, yeah, that does lean pretty hard. Dude, we can fall it. I think so. It'll go straight. We got the power. It doesn't sound that bad. Jed's seen if it sounds hollow or not. It sounds pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, this is good for us. Now he's looking at the color. But I don't know. That's probably fine. But what else is here? Uh, so these are the removals. Just this, yeah. It's this cluster. Pump. This is a pretty nasty cluster. You see all these roots oh, yeah. broken it. Like I'm worried that. Dude, I bet if you tie a rope up there, I, like maybe even two thirds of the way, I bet I can just reverse and just yard it over without cutting or anything. Really? How dead it is. I think it's just hung up. We could put I a think cut so. in it though, at least, right? Yeah. What if I tied it to the birch and took the birch? And just rip it over? That'd be kind of cool. Well, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of what's most sensible. Um, well. No, because. Probably break the top out. Exactly. Okay. Dude, let's get the birch let's out. Let's get the birch out. And then I think we can yard it over pretty easy. All right. And we've got the bucket too. And then, so then the tallies, and there was something else? Oh, uh, we got to take all that mess, I guess. What is that? It's a big pile of garbage. Uh, yeah. Oh, nasty. You have to use the bucket to tip back a few limbs over the house. Matt just said a few tipped back from the house. I think if the bucket could reach that high one, they'd be super high. Yeah. You know, like right in here, Jake. Just have Sam do it, eh? Yeah. Yeah, Sam can get that. Okay. This looks like Sam put himself in the tree with the bucket. Now Jordan is lowering the bucket. I'm gonna go grab the excavator to show you the coolest branch chipping machine out there. So this thing is super cool. It's just this little bobcat right here. And the thing that makes this thing really special is this clamshell bucket right here. It articulates 360 and it pivots, and you're gonna see this thing really just, uh, this thing really chews through the brush. We're gonna have some fun running it today.
running here, Jed. stretched out oh yeah super loose yeah yeah they uh they always do yeah i thought i had you know you think you have it it sounds tight and it's like oh it'll work i hate the tensioner on this do you i do do you like it well with these dogs i don't mind it a bit and the, oh yeah because you got that missing right the thing about these tensioners is they work like some of them on the side those side tensioners you know, you're going in and trying to like get it tight and you're scraping like wood crud out of there and then like sharpening yeah. your bar wrench and they just won't bite. Like this one. And a lot of times they're attached to the cover and they're not that strong anyways. Yeah. Ones. This one, you know, if you have a lot of drivers on your chain or whatever, you know you're getting it tight. Let's try that. Super consistent holding wood. Yeah, Jed, you're the man. Hey, Davin, can you, oh, what is that? Huh? Is that the one John made for you? Yes, sir. Oh, that thing's sweet. Use it. Hey, I'll run the excavator in the morning. You wanna run it in the afternoon? Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at this sweet 462, John. Same guy that made my Screaming Eagle saw. Made that for Davin. Pretty sweet. So you'll see. This thing is really cool. We're gonna chip some brush. And it's cool because this thing articulates 360 and it closes all the way shut so you can grab really small limbs or big limbs. Thank you. So 
this one's a little smaller than the yellow one we usually use. It's still pretty big. <laughs> went up that cedar to put a line in it. Looks like he swung over and cut the top out of this uh, dead snag thing. something else to show. I think, yeah, maybe. Uh, I mean, I can stick the butts in and stuff, but, but we'll see. Dude, I think you got it. <laughs> Man power. You got it, we can use the activator too. <laughs> 
Are you guys gonna push it over or you want me to push it over? I want you to push it over. <laughs> Jed's the best follower we got.
Oh man, what a prickly mess. I go really fast. I mean, it's just momentum, right? I like, think. Yeah. It's not very heavy, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's pretty, uh, pretty leany. What do you think? I'm afraid it's just gonna twist on the stump and do something real weird. We could just set up the bucket. It'll be really fast to do it that way, too. Yeah. So when you guys turn the bucket around and nose it in right where the excavator is, but yeah. Want me to cut it? Yeah, thanks. You're soft? Yep. Thank you. Quite nicely. Yeah, it's a good little saw. I like that one. It seems like it seems like they've gotten better over the years. Support the muffler. The tool ones. And yeah. Calibrates for it. Really? Yeah. It's pretty good. Huh? Feels pretty good. I know. Oh. Time to get all the brush on the ground at once and then trying to clean it up is super inefficient because now you've got wood on top of brush and it's really hard to pick through but since we got the machine it's no big deal because we can just grab it with the claw and sift it all out that way but if we were doing this without any equipment i wouldn't have wanted to do it this way i would have wanted to do all the branches and then all the wood separately but this is going pretty pretty smoothly all righty well the truck is full we're getting we're getting close to done we're gonna eat lunch we're gonna have some tube salad. It's gonna be good. Then we gotta finish the cedar. We gotta clean that up. We gotta tip back a few limbs on that guy. So we're actually doing pretty pretty well on time here. There's Sam enjoying the tube of salad. You said rations. <laughs> I got my tube right here. <laughs> Is it a tube salad? Jed, has it, you haven't done the tube salad yet? No, conventional. Oh yeah. He's old style. <laughs> so versado. Oh man. You gotta get the tube salad, Jen. It's better than it looks. All right, we just had our tube salad. I want to introduce you to Jordan. How long have you been working here, Jordan? Uh, so it'll be the end of my third month. Yeah, so, so he's pretty new. He brought his guitar today. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna entertain you. So we sit back and take a tune for you guys. Yeah, he's gonna play us a tune.
Jordan, that was, that was epic. Yeah, well done. <laughs> super cool, man. How long have you been playing guitar? Oh, since I was a kid, man. Yeah, yeah. super impressive. Yeah, I was raised, raised listening to bluegrass. Uh, my dad was a five-string banjo player. My mom was a violinist. Like, everybody on my dad's side of the family kind of had bluegrass as part of their family. Um, out of Alabama and South, South Carolina. And my mom was a classical violinist, so... I kind of like grew up with it around the household. Got it by osmosis. Yeah, you literally. You play the banjo too? Uh, actually, recently my dad gifted me his banjo, so I've been oh, trying really? to learn how to play that. Oh yeah. man, maybe a future episode. That's right, <laughs> part two. That's awesome, thanks for sharing that with us. That's yeah. so cool. Absolutely, man, anytime. All right. Thanks for listening. All right, so now we're gonna, lunch is over, the concert's over. Okay, can you hold that for a second, Sam? Am I recording you? Well, I love the camera. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna winch this bad boy over. Feels pretty day. tight. Okay. But you can do the winch too. Here, it's just, you know. This is in, this is out. Alright. That's where the elder is to it.
on the home stretch here. Just moving the truck. Almost done. Sam tipped back the long branches on that. Looks good. All the trees are down. We're just doing the final cleanup. And yeah, so far so good. Man, it squeaks in on. We'll go through it at the end. We'll make sure it's all grease and oiled. Nice job today, Davin. Was that your, your first time driving that thing? Yeah. Well, nice job. Thank you very much for letting me. No problem. Well, that's about it for the day. Um, I'm wearing the the red proto today instead of the green one. I forgot. I forgot mine at home. I, I there there's a kid, uh, Michael Paul. His dad reached out to me. He watches the show. I, I took my helmet home and I called him on his birthday. Michael. Hey. Hey. Happy birthday. Is it your birthday? What do you gotta say to Jake? Guilty up. <laughs> oh, so that, that was pretty cool. But anyways, I left my helmet at home. Yeah, we're just gonna finish blowing. And then that's it. So the fur has been deadwooded. We put a cabling system in there, tip some limbs back, move those. Hey, everybody, good good job. Hey, good job, Jordan. That was awesome, yeah, man. Thanks, man. Really, really cool. Awesome day, dude. Thanks for letting me film you play the guitar. Yeah, that was for sure. super good cool, time. man. Nice job on all the stuff you did, Sam. Nice job on the climbing and the, the pruning and everything. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, really nice job. Oh, dude. Uh, that was, yeah, nice job, Dad. This would have taken, the Hollies would still be standing there if that machine had not been there with you running it. No, dude, much. that machine is really, that's really handy. Yeah, so but yeah Jed, your guys have really come a long way in a super dude, short time. Thing. It's cool, yeah. like, uh, jumping over here, everybody's really competent, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, so good guess to work on. But yeah, so that's it. Hopefully you like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Everybody did good. That was a fun. That was a fun job. So if you like that, please like and subscribe. See you, Devin. Hey, fellers. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've ever considered arboriculture as a career, please call us at the number on the screen or send an email or resume to office at Eastside Tree Works and maybe you can come work with us you know we, we offer good wages and benefits and all that but the truth is it's it's really nice to go to work and enjoy what you do for a living you know me and the guys if you watch the videos we really we really like doing tree work it's a lot of fun it's a great place to work it's a great job to have so you know maybe you can come work with us just reach out we'd love to have you on board and make sure you come back next week for another episode of guilty of trees and at east side tree works all right thanks for watching